the Dusseldorf Fashion Show 2023. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You might be thinking, surely there's some mistake, H.G. Don't you mean the 2023 Dusseldorf Invictus Games? Well, it was meant to be an Invictus Games, wasn't it? It was meant to be a celebration of the brave service people who had put their lives on the line for their countries and had suffered in some way. Suffering injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, mental health issues, issues affecting their ability to earn and their relationships. But these sterling individuals applied themselves through the application of physical endeavour to overcome the difficulties that they had experienced. As a consequence of that, they were there to be celebrated. That There were, of course, plenty of people that turned up, their families and their friends, to urge them on to victory and to celebrate their achievements. All of that, however, was knocked into a cocked hat by you-know-who. Oh yes, Harry's wife, who decided to make it the Harry's Wife Games. She gives fuck all in relation to the competitors. On the face of it, she talks about it being family. She goes through the motions of talking to people. But it's all only done because it serves her purposes. As I explained in the Invictus Grift, things have not gone well for her as of late. And therefore, this represented a platform, and she'll have been urged on by her advisors to make full use of it. This is, a, this is an endeavour that is seen as worthwhile. Piggyback it. Hijack it. Ensure that you are prominent so that you are then seen in a good light. And as you know, it serves the prime aims. It allows her to control lots of people by appearing to care. It enables her to draw fuel from the various people that she met and was involved with. It enabled her to manage the facade of being a decent human being and enabled her to get further residual benefits with regard to merchandising. And ultimately, she turned it into a fashion show. She wasn't there for the competitors. She overshadowed her husband's event, stole his thunder, stood on his toes. She doesn't care about the people that attended. She showed that with her utterly disrespectful behaviour of marching in front of veterans. She turned it into the Harry's wife for Sean show. And if you want any evidence that that's the case, listen to this. As per Marie Claire, they've provided a retrospective on every single outfit that Harry's wife wore to the 2023 Invictus Games. Now, at least Marie Claire has the decency to say, let's talk about what really matters before we talk about Fashon. The Invictus Games, which were founded in 2014 as a multi-sport event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and service women, both those currently serving and veterans. They at least have the good grace to recognise that, unlike, of course, Harry's wife. Then explains about her arrival and then celebrates the fact that, ooh, whoopee, we saw the couple five days in a row. Talks about how she was delayed in her arrival, and then we get into the meat of it. Tuesday, September the 12th, just a couple of hours after arriving in Dusseldorf, after a nearly 24-hour travel day that spanned multiple time zones, so brave. So brave. Harry's wife appeared on stage with Harry for a rare joint speech, addressing Invictus Games competitors and their families and friends. She explained her delayed arrival, yada, yada, yada. For the event, she wore a shirt dress from Banana Republic, a woven leather belt by Batiga Venita, and Aquazura pumps. By the way, Harry's wife is said to have done her own hair and makeup for the entire games, and only worn vintage pieces or rewares. What do you want, fucking medal? Wednesday, September the 13th. When did she sleep? Harry's wife was up and at it on Wednesday, joining Harry for a basketball claim. Oh, gosh, the stamina and endurance is amazing. And wearing a J. Crew sweater. 
stout shorts and cap-toed Chanel slingbacks. She looked like she was going down the beach rather than attending a serious event. Later in the day, Harry's wife went to a swimming competition, wearing J. Crew again, this time a cashmere shell, black frame skinny jeans and Hermes sneakers. Thursday, September 14th. For a meeting with NATO representatives on Thursday, why the fuck would they want a meeting with her? Harry's wife went monochrome, in a brown silk logeance blouse, khaki-coloured Gabriella Hurst trousers, which had never seen a fucking iron, and Manola Blanank pumps. She added to the look with Mew Mew sunglasses. Fucking great. Later in the day, while attending a volleyball match, Harry's wife wore a La Ralph Lauren cable knit vest paired with white frame jeans and Aquasiora flats. Later that night, for Harry's birthday dinner, she kept on the frame jeans. Unusual for her, normally they'd be whipped off straight away. But switched up her blouse, this time opting for a shirt from Doen in the Monaco stripe colorway and Manola Blahnik flats. As I'm telling you all of this, this publication is providing you with links to make the purchases of all the things that Harry's wife wore. Friday, September the 15th. On Friday, Harry's wife wore a belted romper from Zara beneath a Celine blazer, woven leather Saint Laurent sandals and crew sunglasses. Now, get this for the sunglasses. Crew sent out a media alert. For immediate release, Harry's wife, Duchess of Sussex, in crew while attending the Invictus Games. New York, New York, Friday, September 15th, 2023. Crew is pleased to announce that Harry's wife, Duchess of Sussex, wore the crew archival Gravier in matte black polarised 24K frame on September the 5th, 2023, while attending the Invictus Games with husband, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, at the Merker Spiel Arena in Dusseldorf, Germany. Hey, fuck the veterans. Fuck the serving people. Let's get a press release out about the sunglasses that she wore. Because after all, that's what's important, isn't it? Absolutely blatant grifting and utilisation of this event. The powers that be that are involved in Invictus should haul Harry in and say, this is not happening again. Your wife has come in and taken over proceedings, made it all about her. The service people have nearly got a look in, and we're now blitzed with everything about her for Sean as she turned it into the Dusseldorf 2023 for Sean show. It continues by explaining, for the sitting volleyball final later that day, Harry's wife wore a two-tone denim dress by Carolina Herrera, paired with Dior pumps. To round out the day's third luck, Harry's wife attended a Team Canada reception in a totemé wool blend turtleneck midi dress and Dior Essence pumps. It carries on. Saturday, September the 16th. Harry's wife was busy today. Was she now? Makes a change. Normally she just sat around scrolling through social media, taking part in medal ceremonies, yeah, marching in front of veterans, and reading to a group of children, who were probably bored shitless, all ahead of the Games' closing ceremony this evening. For the first part of the day, Harry's wife wore across the board Kiana, the brand's silk classic trench and its silk paper bag pant, what? paired with nude Aquasiora pumps. For the game's closing ceremony, Harry's wife wore a stunning teal dress from Cult, I can think of a better explanation there, Gaia, which she wore with her Aquasiora pumps from earlier today to truly put an exclamation point on a brilliant week. So not only does she have the audacity of taking over the games and turning it into a fashion show, she ensures, through one of the PR supine publication pieces, that they all they talk about, with a slight nod to the service people at the beginning, is what she wore and where you can get it. You would never, ever find Catherine behaving this way. Or the Princess Royal. The Princess Royal would rather die than have her fashion splashed everywhere. But Harry's wife, she has no shame. It's all about her and look at me. It is an absolutely disgusting, self-absorbed, 
grifting and merching behaviour by her as she takes an event which is meant to celebrate the endeavours of injured service people, sick service people, and turns it into her own personal fashion show. One is not surprised by this conduct, but one is certainly disgusted by it. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.